Arriba, Arriba. Welcome to another episode of Horrible Decisions, baby. Arriba. Arriba, mean? Arriba means you guys. Means if up. you have ever been to Esol, <laughs> this is going to be a fun one for you. Um, because Esol, bitch. Esol. <laughs> you know about Esol? No. Oh, this English is a Florida second. thing. Oh, is that a Florida thing? What does it stand for? You mean it? it, it like no. ESO? Oh yeah. That's no, what they call it Esol. Esol. I've never called you mean e English a second language? Yes. <laughs> Hold or on. maybe they Esau. do other languages in Florida because niggas speak Creole and other shit too. Yeah. But it's called Esau. English in for speakers of other languages. Other languages, okay. yeah. Okay. okay. My so bad, I'm the dumb we one. call me from <laughs> Florida. Florida. This is by far the worst accent, by and the way. what's happening, everybody don't speak English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Anyway, guys, welcome to Horrible Decisions. I'm your girl, Mandy V, aka Pan the Stallion, aka Dead Bitch, aka Full Core Pumps, aka What's up? I'm single. Talk to me, baby. Go ahead. Introduce You're yourself. Okay. Bitch, you got to tell them who you Don't are. Don't do this. Don't make her start and explain. I'm Weezy. <laughs> and we have a very special guest. You may have heard him before. You may have seen him sometimes. We'll allow for the camera to be switched. You know, but <laughs> Thank you. how kind can we be? We are sitting with Eddie Martinez. See, I love that. By that the way, was fun. By the, the way, other Eddie, shit you did. <laughs> Eddie, have you been seeing? <laughs> have you been seeing that the comments they've been asking where you have been? Um, I haven't checked it. They be like, they Oh, my life. So, y'all, Eden has uh -huh. departed us. So, he broke I up with us. I thought she said deported, and I was like, that's fucking <laughs> I, crazy. I thought, I thought she did, too, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> no, y'all, not he, that one. He has <laughs> moved on in his career, and it wouldn't be right without sending him a farewell with tamales here on Horrible. <laughs> where's this? Where's all these Latino stereotypes coming from? <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> y'all do this with all y'all Latinos, yes? Uh, yeah. We don't have any. We, you know what we do do? Como se dice? Hold on, wait, wait. Anyway. <laughs> Can I tell you what I was saying? So the nigga that I'm talking to, we were talking about going on vacation. Mm. And I was like, bro, we not going to last in Mexico together. He's like, why? I was like, just little things, okay? Because, like, think about if we get to the hotel and there's a problem. And the guy's just sitting there and he's like, okay, hey. <laughs> <laughs> calling somebody over, trying to figure out how to explain to us that the fucking room ain't ready. Okay, everybody. Oh, look at the dog. And get, uh, uh, what is your name? They speak well, English they, sometimes, they, though. They're not that, that they bad. The places sometimes. that I be going, no, they don't. Oh, because you, be you, you go hella local, right? I do. You know, I That's like why. it when the roads ain't developed. That's not when the me. food be better. That's why I was mad as hell in Tulum. Like, bitch, why is there gravel? Where is a street, a road? No, I was looking for it. I didn't like the gravel. This is still a poor country, you know that, right? Bitch, not the way they the was GDP taxing it. The GDP in Mexico City, bro. Mexico City has bread. It's honest, oh yeah, Mexico City has bread. They try like on some real shit. I, that's some wealth, right? Not there. from Mexico, by the way. I just want to make sure that was clear. He's too. Nicaraguan, but we don't Nicaraguan, know where that is. Nicaraguan, there you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> yo, it was the first episode that we taped together, WF with WTF, where we didn't know what Eden was. Also, you we said, ain't that. you, Mandy said, ain't you Dominican? Yeah. Well, you, you know why I thought he was Dominican. So y'all don't, y'all may not know the, the 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 whole story, and we'll get into because I would like to know how it's been with you being here as a part of the horrible decisions team. But um, I thought you was, and this is probably me being real stereotypish. You care. took pictures of me at my graduation uh, at Lehman, Lehman College, this makes sense. Okay. which is in the Bronx. Nigga wears gel in his hair. I just knew he was Dominican. Then as we started hanging out. You didn't get taller. Don't look at my hair. So, no, I'm thinking, that's crazy. That <laughs> I was supposed to get taller? And so then Dominicans like, be tall as shit. Right? Dominicans are tall as fuck. Yeah. And then you, Dominicans are very your tall. Your melanin also never changed in the summer. So I said, Mexican. You know what I mean? I got tanner. And... I don't be in the sun. That's the problem. Now nah, you don't I be, be in the sun. I be, I be editing all the time. And Heard you. Oh, we get it. You work oh, so Oh, yeah, I be working. No, I'm on brand. Um, no, this that episode was a favorite of mine because yeah, Mandy and I clearly like to talk shit about each other. And that episode... He said, it's Nicaragua's in Central America. And she yeah. goes, okay, we got North America, South America, Central America. That's what made up North America. Don't be bringing up geography again. We are here to talk about Ed and not me. What's North America? Where we at? U.S. of A. You know the three countries that make up North America now? Yeah. Which are? Canada and us. And? Three. She said three. Mandy, you're fucking lying. Bitch, you're trying to be funny. See, no. No, 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 no. Mexico is not North America. Yes, it is, bro. Is that not Central America? No, that's Central America. Because I know not South Central America. America. North America is... What is, is, in is central, what's Central then? What's in between us and South America? Central America is not a continent, though. But it's a... Oh, so first of all... But hold on. I North America you. is, and you live on it. 
Yeah. I know he's talking about Canada, continents. I know there's Mexico. seven of them bitches. Why do you think Mexico isn't included? I didn't know. That. I thought it was central. Because no. it's in between North and South. It's in the middle. That's, central. Okay. I can Hello. see that. Thank you. I see the logic. But Thank if you knew you. three wrong, countries but made I see up the logic. North America, what other one could it be for us? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Anyway, y'all done. We uh, this is a horrible decision. Can we talk about sucking dick? We not... okay. Let's talk about. Wait. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You you yeah. don't suck dick, but uh, yeah. Ed and I did want to ask you since being a part of the team, how much this show has helped you in your relationships or in the bed, oh. or if it had a negative effect. I want to know that shit too. I wouldn't say they had a negative effect. Um, I've had people hit me up, which is fun. You know, men and women, which oh. is interesting. I'm not into men, but that was cool too. I was like, thanks, guys. How did they? How did they hit on you? Oh no, sometimes they'd be extra aggressive, <laughs> and they'd be like, "Yo, not for nothing." You know, I'm sure this is really unprofessional, and maybe you don't get this often, but I'm trying to suck the shit out of you. I'm like, <gasps> what? I leave those for the nos, and I'm like, thank you. So what were the yeses? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm trying to think why. Why? Have you ever said something that was sus? It's no, it's I think it's like the tonality of my voice, my openness, and like my size. You know, I think I'm a cute cuddly. You think you're fat ass and getting us? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a little chunky, but he said, hey, you know, people, nah, people love the chunky. I'm not gonna lie. I, by the way, I meant your ass literally. You got oh, that butt. too. Oh, yeah. I wasn't you calling got a you booty. a fat ass. No, nah, I thought you were just calling me chunky. I got hurt a little. No, you, no, got, you, you lost a fat ass. Thank but you. you do have a fat ass. That was her calling me fat. I would again. never she just call said you I lost weight. Ass. You can't tell people. I only talk about that like like that about people behind their back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my same, god. Same here. Yeah. I'm, if I'm gonna drive, like I am not gonna publicly shame you, but I'll call you ugly on the phone with my homegirl. That's fair. That's fair enough. But yeah. Now, I do want to um say like. You've been working for Horrible how many years and how did it all start? That's what I want to know. What's that? Because some people may... Technically, with this year, let's say, six years? What's yeah, the first year? Years? So, it's from Loudspeaker. Now, nah, when did y'all so, start? So, when we were on last, So, we, we joined Loudspeaker one year after we started. So, probably 20... So, five years, I would say. Cause when 20, did you graduate? 2018. Oh, so then that's... 20 so, 2018. That is five years. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, so five 20, years. Five years. So, um... You took the pictures and you hit me, I think, in the DM and was like, yo, I'm trying to do this. Um, and at the time, I think this was right after we fired Alex or you. Wait, no. I thought you worked doing audio for no, Loudspeaker. No, I, I brought him into Loudspeaker. Yeah. So y'all, so <laughs> this is the funny shit. was it video or audio? I can't remember. Y'all put up, so I was listening to y'all while graphics. I was Graphics. You yeah. did on graphics yeah, exactly. first. Graphics so I was working yeah. photo retouching for like for a shoe company in Brooklyn. I was listening to y'all. Shoe? Yeah, a shoes company. It's called okay. Grace. Um, so... Then I remember I was listening to y'all and I had headphones on and likely you, one of y'all moaned crazy, right? <laughs> on Brilliant or something like that, right? So I was like, what the fuck? All right, but We listening. moaned on Brilliant? Either it was on Brilliant or it's it was possible. after an episode afterwards where I started listening to you guys. Oh. Well, and to be fair, Brilliant was our welcoming to the loudspeaker Yeah, that's, how I, so that's, that how, I, that's how I heard about y'all. That would make sense. Which mm -hmm. was lit because then you guys eventually put up a whole IG story talking about y'all need graphic designers. Remember that. I wasn't a graphic designer. Hey, I'm a graphic designer, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I was you like, fuck lied. it. I lied. Which your but I had, I, had, I had an idea. Good for you. you know? I lie for a lot of jobs. Yeah, so it works out. I knew I knew an idea. I had the essentials, but I wasn't like the graphic designer. Y'all needed an interest. I was like, okay, y'all need some like. Yeah, some we were looking work. for just something light. Right. Um, so after that, got connected with y'all. Asked y'all if y'all needed someone to take pictures for John Jay. Was it John Jay? Who Somewhere in New York. John Jay. John Jay oh, is a college. When we, when, we did, when we did the show at, <laughs> oh, 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 it was actually oh, oh, oh. Baruch. Baruch. There you go. It was the Baruch, Baruch. show, which right. was also being filmed for HBO. For at the HBO. Time. That's yes. when y'all had uh, Michelle, what, what Hope. Michelle Hope. Yeah, you guys uh, did that for Vice and HBO. But I'm gonna be real with you. That live show was scary for me Why? because it got so deep. For anyone that's never oh, seen it, oh, it did. Yeah, yeah. Michelle Hope was doing a project about consent. And you can't really make consent that fun. <laughs> Bro, I, I mean, you can. Buck. I was looking at Mandy like I was mad because two things happened here. I really like Michelle Hope. She's mad fun. Yeah, but that's Michelle Hope. She has to be serious in this moment because mm. it's not something to play with. And it's also her name. And she's the one who brought HBO in. Yeah. So we have to be grateful. But it wasn't the normal live shows we do. So, like, I'm sitting there when it's getting real heavy. And I remember, do you remember me looking at you like that? And I was mm -hmm. like... I want to. I probably it. have a picture of it. I was like, oh, you were upset, and then I had to get her to shut the hell up because we're leaving in the elevator, and she was like, "This is my least favorite live show that we've done <laughs> so far. It has to be funner than this. We're not gonna keep doing live shows. Did you have that outburst in front of a, an elevator of people? 
Jesus. I said, we will talk about it tomorrow. I did? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, was in the I might have been drunk. That was five oh, years ago, why. you know? Fuck because it. I was dating Jeeves, who was there. Sorry, and Jeeves. my ex-girlfriend at the time, Sister, was also there. Was yeah. also there. Me. It was, it oh, was, bitch. It was a lot of time. And then what made it worse, Alex had no idea she was my ex-girlfriend. It was, oh, and Alex took on a date, like, the next I day. I wanted Alex, to, bro. Please, bro, it why? He didn't know. He didn't. And bro, they went on a date the next day, my nigga. I was with G. Uh, she was, surprised me. Crazy. So then Alex is out. Mind you, this is five years ago, y'all. That's so crazy. Alex though. is out and he, she needs a ride home to her hotel. And I remember the whole thing happening too. Because I was like fuming. And <laughs> she was like, yeah, I'm just going to go back to Friday. And he was like, oh, do you need a ride? And I was like... I'm watching it unfold, but I can't do anything because my nigga, my white nigga, my nigga was there, and I'm like, oh my god! So the next day, I call Alex to tell him she was my ex girlfriend. He's like, damn. My I'm bad. like, hey, what you doing? He was like, nothing. I'm at this barbecue. I'm actually out with. Uh... And he said her name. I said, ha. <laughs> Mind you, I called him at like five o'clock. He's like, yeah, we just been kicking it. You know, I know she's in town for the weekend. What's up? You want to come? And I'm like, I'm gonna like kill nothing. these niggas. I mean, he and, uh, know. I think that's how her and I got back together. Like, bitch, how dare you? And then the makeup set. No, I wasn't, but whatever. So that's why I was being a cunt that day. Well, you, and so we brought you into that show. Yeah, and I took pictures. And <laughs> I you didn't took know all pictures. that was unfolding. Um, I met Alex that day. I got to kind of connect. You uh, met connect Alex him. that day? That mm-hmm. day, yeah. Yeah. So I connected with him. We connected with Flagrant. Sadly, he got locked up in Sweden. So yep. that gave me the opportunity to work more with them. Thanks for came back. <laughs> not I mean, your demise was my ride. But that's what's the not, reality it, of it. I think I that was like, is right, cool. And, and, yeah, yeah. and when we no longer had um, Alex, because Alex did video and audio simultaneously, yeah, we brought you in. You mm-hmm. were doing our audio at Engine Room. Yeah, and damn, then, Engine Room. Look at y'all having y'all. I, know. I just want to say that's why I'm really happy for y'all. Because no. y'all went from Engine Room, not no. to shit on Engine Room. No, 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 right. But it was just the reality was that you guys had a lot of bigger, like, you know, things you want to do with this show and other shows and other stuff. And y'all went from Engine Room, which was like, what? A slither of this? One room. To then this and then y'all own studios? Bro, let me tell you something. I have a friend of mine who's doing a podcast with somebody and they are really close with their co-host. And by the way, y'all don't even try to figure this out because we're not like public friends. But they were saying to me like, yo, it's so difficult because like my co-host relies on this podcast and I don't. And I said to Mandy a few months ago, I don't know if you remember, I was like, there are not a lot of duos where like they both out there getting it. Exactly. There really are not. So like even through the kinks of this podcast and, you know, her getting a new podcast or me doing TV or whatever it is, like there just really is not. And I think that that has spoken volumes to me in terms of like trajectory and seeing why we've been able to grow. Like, oh, you really did have two corporate women who were able to climb. Yeah. And, you know, you got to think of yourself too in this way of like, producing podcasts, doing video, doing audio. We met a lot of niggas that do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Spanish niggas, not really. But anyway, (laughs) but like, you know, you should feel super proud because one of the things that I remember was when Rory and Maul needed a place to record, I didn't want anyone else to do it but Eden. Yeah. You know, because at the time the studio was so new and I'm like, what if something fucks up? And it wasn't that I didn't trust anyone else, but... I think Eden is obviously such a big testimony of how good your work is. Appreciate that. But also yeah. how much you you strive to learn. Oh, I hell mean, yeah. we threw you kind of in and it was like, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Uh we did bring another video person at at one point as well. Um, but just through the testament of time, you it just happened. navigating it and worked growing out. I, and- I didn't want to step in any boundaries, even though I knew what my true craft was, even though audio is secondhand to me when it comes it goes hand in hand, honestly. I was just kind of like, all right, well, you know, what is comes your up, true crap? Because we joking about Mexicans, but you be DJing parties, right? What's going you on? You still DJ parties? Well, yeah, I've, really I've gotten even want, better with it too. You know? Yeah, I got to do Apollo as a recent too. I saw that was you cool. did that, that was lit as hell. In, yeah. uh, for the Jim Jones, or no, for it the was, Cam uh, show. It was, yeah, Cam it was Mace, right? Cam and uh, and Jada. What and you Jada like doing yeah. the most? Damn, yo, that's a hard question because it's like those are like two different sides of my heart. Like when it comes to like me doing video visuals overall, and then me doing DJing. Do you That's like, crazy. Do you, you like, DJing? like doing visuals? I love it. Do you like DJing because of the music or do you like being in those elements? Because I know sometimes Like being now, the vibe guy. Like sometimes Both. sometimes I go to the club mm. and I be looking at the bartender I kind of be like, bitch, I wonder if they hire and I bartender throw yeah. It's like a little drink from time to time. I ain't gonna lie. I be thinking I that when bartending. I watch DJ sometimes like, especially like, you know, y'all know the type of music I like when I be watching like Kate Trinata I go to these selection parties. Fire. Damn, I love when them niggas throw a track on and you feel everybody. That's like, the fun part. See, oh. So that's why I like doing like visuals and DJing because it's like I have the opportunity of making people feel a certain way, like a good way. 
So that's kind of like the biggest responsibility when you're doing both. What song do you podcasting. play when you want people to fuck? Or get disgusting and nasty? <laughs> that's a good question. As of late? I don't know. It's, I'm not, it's mad I get thrown going on right now for my life. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like, uh, like Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny? Y'all know, Y'all know he's Bad Bunny? He's what? Really? I thought he had a girlfriend or a boyfriend or both. I thought both. So I really love Bad Bunny. I think that he... Word? You love Bad Bunny? No, no, no. Like his vibe. Oh, okay. I don't know his music like oh, that. But I, would you I'm eat his ass? Would you eat Bad Bunny's ass? Um, I'm not really a booty hole eater, but maybe he's like a... Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> I, let me tell you what I like about him. I actually don't really think he's that queer. I'm not saying he's queer baiting. I think Harry... I was about to say, you think I, he's pandering? No, I think Some he people just really does, think that, though. They do. Yeah. I think Harry Styles might be, but I think Bad Bunny is just oh, nasty. Yeah. I don't Harry think Styles he gives is a white. Butt. I think white people always lean towards... Queer. Like, I think he just genuinely is, like, a fun-ass whatever. I'm going to do whatever. I, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think when you're really nasty, you don't give a fuck. How how old is he? 28. 28. Yeah. I saw okay, the right so profile. Like age, yeah. Okay, so that's why I was going to say if he was, like, younger, to me, the this new Gen Z oration, the generation of Zers, whatever they're called. <laughs> okay. <they're, Wow. laughs> these young... <laughs> Who needs these songs now? <laughs> you mean the Zers? The Z... Whatever they're yeah. called... These young motherfuckers, all them on the little uh, Kinsey scale, high and low, baby. They is all gay, fluid, poly, open. I, with that's all really, yeah, that's common. Yeah. yeah, that's really I common. I mean, and, and I love it. I think that when we talk about, like, these issues that we've kind of learned or grown into mm -hmm. in terms of the pronouns and the trans rights coming to play and who's fucking who and now all of the rules changing with abortions and sex, uh, sex work... I think it's really, really nice and refreshing to see that the younger generation isn't moved by it. They're accepting who they are early on, and they're yeah. able to be themselves. Well, if it wasn't, honestly, like, not, not even, like, just trying to hype you up or gas you up, but, but if it wasn't for, like, y'all, that wouldn't be so easy either, like, to have those conversations. Well, I wish we were getting the notoriety of such, but I hope there's still I hope Can I be honest with you? Oh, uh-oh. Wait, wait, what you about to say? It ain't even that good. Okay. What? Because I, could, I got I'm, shit to talk. If you I'm, don't talk shit, I can talk shit, too. Hopefully y'all should talk shit. I've I'm been starting to care less. Sure. Every about time what? about like getting my flowers for something, because I'm getting so much more confident in knowing like horrible and understanding it. Going to London actually solidified that. But even when I, you know, I was in Europe this summer. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't just get recognized a few times, bro. Like the whole time I was in London, it was, and if they didn't know Wheezy, they said horrible to me. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's Which something. I, even when people come up to me and say Mandy sometimes, I don't know if that happens to it, you, but like, still they're the like, brand. is it, uh, like, mm -hmm. I know where, you nah, know No, when I mean? they stutter like that, I'd be like, yes, I do. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> like, because like, literally it's like, did, like someone said, you're a popular YouTuber. And I was like, you have a and I said, no, whatever YouTuber, I don't, I don't identify as a YouTuber. Maybe. They were like, no, but you have a podcast. I said, yep, that's me. Nice to meet you. Like. I just now know, like... Not Mandy being the... Like, I can't talk right now. <laughs> it's not that. But, oh, no, no, no. It's not that. But it's like, yes, it's me. Don't be uncomfortable. What's up? You got right. something to say? You want a picture? I got to go back to, not, to the bar. Yeah, you want... Bruh. Uh, one oh, of the, one of the top tier approaches I've oh. ever gotten, by the way, was when I was DJing at a bar downtown in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And after my set was like... Someone was like, yo, I feel like you look familiar, bro. <laughs> not what a bro. is it? Wait, it was a man? Yeah. Tall ass dude, right? Damn, you ain't get his right? number from me? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. Um, and he was like, "Yo, you with that podcast with those girls that suck dick?" I'm like, "Oh, no. uh, yeah, yeah, horrible decision." Yes, yeah. because we are one of yeah. the few people in the world. I mean, <laughs> hey, but I was just like, okay. I mean, yeah, it was either that or the white guy and the black guy. One of those two. Oh, brilliant! Rory, no, no, Rory Mole. <laughs> Rory <and> Mole. <laughs> but what's funny is that same thing, though. I get it. it it's basically the same thing. I, I kind of not that I forget, obviously I didn't forget Rory Mole, but I'm thinking back to those days. Yeah, no, it was this um, was very recent. Yeah. So that's what I was gonna say. I felt like after London, I started to really sit and think. Like, I haven't gone to a live show where someone hasn't taken something from us that they've seen. I haven't really seen something new and innovative that I know that we didn't pave the way for. Exactly. And at I first agree. I was getting down to Patreon. I've been joking yeah. with Andrew all the time, like, oh, God, that shit's going to be. But like, oh, I, I said, Joe, I was telling Joe about Patreon for years. We talked to, I, maybe even Rory then, Rory or Maul, like, y'all not on Patreon yet? Like, get your ass on Patreon. That. Definitely on Patreon. I, I, like, I, I we were on like, Patreon early. I just mm -hmm. remember. They still only take 3% of us. That's crazy. Like, everyone else now gets like, 10 to 12% taken away. But you know, but yeah, here's the thing too. There will be some, 
young black girls that come in and be, I hope, bigger than horrible. But I do appreciate that we've paved some of that way. I yeah. think Guys We Fucked are the podcast that did that for that of a call her daddy type. You mm. know what I'm saying? Maybe, because they were more of a vibe, though. I don't know. Like, they were more, like, actually talking about sex. But, like, a lot of people, I think Angela <laughs> Yee could maybe even be one for us. Of course, right? lip service. Yeah. Right. Shout so, like, it, finding a comp. But, like, I do know what we do in that space and what we made. And I'm starting to feel better about it. And I'm starting to care less if people don't get it. Because the ones that really matter do. How bad have you guys gotten, like, imposter syndrome when it comes to you and your show? Now, now not so much. Um, I think that us meeting the people, I think that that's why touring has been such a big part of us because we get to see and yeah, meet you, the people that we influence. Mm -hmm. I, and I've said that probably the most, like actually meeting our fans and having people cry and say how much we've influenced them in the bedroom, their relationship, the relationships we've saved, yeah. the people who feel like they can be themselves. Um, I think that that's been the biggest part of this show personally to me. Um, and just knowing, I think me and Weezy, every time we get in an argument and our asses don't want to fucking keep doing this shit, we both say this show is bigger than both of us. That went all over the place. <laughs> We're going to get into our goddamn hors d'oeuvre. This is your fault. That's it fine. Leave fault. some of that in there, though. It is a little bit of your <laughs> fault. What's our worst fight? Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, why the fuck would we go there? Yeah, I thought, <laughs> okay. gonna, I thought we were so, going to find a new birth one. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So our hors d'oeuvre... Nigga, we ain't been to therapy in a long time. I, was, I thought I was a therapist um, for a second. For our hors d'oeuvre... Your outfit is giving therapy. OD, right? For our hors d'oeuvre, we want to allow you to give us a sex tip. I know that we've talked about sex tips with you and Wolf before, and that was like dealing with suffocation and getting your face. Well, I don't like to be suffocated when no, I'm eating pussy. No, it's getting murder, she wrote. She, say what you just said right now. Como se dice murder in Spanish? I don't, I'm going to fuck that up. you don't know murder? Is it an F word? I'm Fuego. No. Wait, no, that's fire. Oh. <laughs> Fire pussy. Uh, mal, matar, oh, matar is a, is to kill. No, wait. What's to the kill death? the pussy? What's sure. that? Tell me. Uh, muerte or muerte? muerte. Dia los muerte. That's muertos. Okay. That's day, day of the dead. I know, but that's how I knew the oh. word dead. <laughs> okay, give us give <laughs> muerto us a, pussy. Give us a sex tip from you. Um, I've said this before, definitely, but I'll give two. So one is uh, don't be afraid of, and this is for the fellas particularly. Uh, don't be afraid of using toys in the bedroom. Cause they could be your friend, not your mm, enemy. Come on, like, that's like a big thing. Like especially, yo, shout out to the rose. I fuck with that rose heavy. Not that rose with like the tongue and all the other shit. I don't like no, the one that's the OG shit. Into a whole. People lot. be having rose parties. Y'all know about that? Wait, oh my god, rose parties are a thing, oh, dude. Yeah. We just so orgies. Talked about this. Basically, Where are, we are they orgies? Yeah. Oh, they're like wait, they're like female jack parties. They're they're yeah exactly. I don't know jack parties. Last night. Uh, I was sitting with my homegirl and she literally was like, I got something for you to talk about horrible. Go yeah. on TikTok, type in rose parties. Mm -hmm. And basically, Wait, these it's on TikTok? Well, they yes, can't, that's you know, where the trend yeah. started. It's fucking weird. Is it though? It's like a circle jerk. So that's a Damaris, by the way. She was the one that I talked about it on the show too. What well, she said? A circle jerk she is, was just talking about well, like the idea of rose parties. Yeah. But that's a jack party for, and the gays normally do that where they all get together and they sit in a circle or they all sit in couches yeah. and they all just watch just each other jack it. off. I but I get the rose though. The rose is lit. Straight girls doing it. Is this showing it. on TikTok? TikTok has pointed out. No, they're talking so. about throwing one. There's girls that have yeah. went. Hold on. I like, just... Check out the new hottest place here. Because why I want to have a rose party? Like, if you can keep your rose on. Oh, yeah. So there's a whole premise. So hey, uh, I have been looking at y'all comments. Yes, everyone will have to get tested. And that yeah. is blood work and also STD cool. testing. Yes, I will have everybody sign consent forms because nothing is going to come back on me. Um, I am going to do an Airbnb. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to whoever Airbnb <laughs> that is. Miami. They're about to get blocked off the account. Chicago. No, I okay, want to know where the hell her country but, but it's interesting because then does it lead to an orgy? Because the So let me tell you the whole for... premise. So they do the rose party, right? Right. Let's say it's 12 chicks, right? They got their rose. That's Florida in right? Spanish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's 12 chicks. And so the, 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 the last one to come, right? They all got to eat her pussy out. Wait, What? So a rose party, everyone has their little fucking toy, and they're you know, sucking and all that shit. Y'all never wait, use the, the rose? the last person to go, I don't like, like it. Uh, 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 the last person to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The last person to do that gets her pussy ate. Are we yep. at the party now? I mean, so wait, wouldn't I want to hold out to not orgasm so that everybody can yeah, eat my the, pussy? Yeah, but I think that's, that's the, the point. point. Yeah. The rose makes everybody come. But you got to like but actually use the rose. not let nobody know. 
Me too. Mm, I don't know. But bullshit, See? we telling you now. As, oh, as no. bitches that have come, I'd be, be like, <laughs> I can't. you gonna think it's a sneeze. <laughs> So the you twitch? Gonna, you gonna think I had to scratch my nose. My most embarrassing come was dry humping my ex girlfriend. I remember she was like, "Did you come?" Because it's the clit. That's lit though. And she, I was, she was like, "You did not," and I was like, "No, I didn't." But then I couldn't have her touch me. She was like, "Damn, bitch." <laughs> we used to you came. came. I did. You came. All right. So using the rose. Shout out to the rose party. Uh, sucking the clit is a big one for me too. So. Sucking. Sucking. Here's right. the thing. That shit hurts. It's not a Does dick. It? No, I'm not. I don't know. By the way, ladies, know. technically, your clit is a dick. That's science. That's so what I'm, they so say. So in that case, I'm... Okay, so you're sucking dick. Um, I just saw some pussy clit. eating tips from <laughs> B Condoms. So B Condom says, these are the eight pussy eating mistakes you should avoid. Okay. okay. Actually using your teeth, because eating pussy no. does not mean you should Never. bite. It does not need teeth Never. at all. Not enough foreplay. The Definitely pussy needs to be aroused. Foreplay. So don't do it like... Uh, don't jump into it super quick. Actually warm the pussy up. Yes. Right? Okay. Don't just like take the pants off, which okay. I agree with that one too. Only paying attention to the clip because it's not all about the clip. No, yeah. If you focus, it can become sore or painful. That's why when you said sucking the clip. No, I don't mean just that. You got to play with the labia. Painful. Use your tongue everywhere. Be gentle. Well, not try to do no fast shit. Right. Yeah, the labia. Feel me? Like, bow. You're making a heart. I love it. Yeah. Did you say bow? Bow. Wow. Not bow bow. Right. <laughs> Licking and sucking the clip. What? For sure. What do you think is something that you were doing wrong or maybe you improved uh, at after Horrible? The whole fucking like flicking my tongue mad fast on the clit and shit like that. Mm. that yeah, nobody wants I, that. I, that was like, they you was giving mad porno. I didn't have to lips. do all that. Make yeah. out with them like you make out with real lips. Yeah. Tell us some tea. Have you ever dated a girl that like didn't like you doing the show because she felt like it exposed you to whores? Yes. Not us. Oh! Wait, yes? Yes. yes. Not you ain't gonna you say broke her name. What was I'm her insecurity? Her talk, talk about her insecure ass. Um, I guess it was more <laughs> of the idea. She, she, Even though she never tried to kind of go into my DMs and stuff, she had this idea that a lot of women would be in my DMs because of the show. It okay. wasn't like that either. I'd get a couple of hit-ups once in a while, but I'd be like, hey, babe, look, <laughs> that's kind of funny, right? Did not find it funny at all <laughs> when I would show her. Yeah, I don't, and I was here trying to be open about it. Like, hey, like, look, okay, so let here's me my DMs. Then, like, it wasn't like that. With that, that has yeah, been that an sucks. issue with me and my friends. Do you believe in What's oversharing? Issue? Oh, oversharing. Yes, 100%. Wait, what do you mean it's an issue with you and like, friends? Like, he thought, hey, I'm showing you this. I'm not reacting on it, but look at this. Ha, ha, ha. That, would, that was my thing with my ex-partner. Like, I shared that certain niggas wish... They wish they could. Uh -huh. I thought you were and saying then, you were sharing too much about your ex. No, no. With my ex, I oh, was sharing wait. with him just everything. My yeah. my previous partners, my dumb ass, every time we broke up, he knew who the fuck I slid to. And then in the industry, I shared who 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 wished they could get some of this and didn't. Yo. But then also started working with those same said people. Yo. And there was a problem with why do you think it's okay that you're not doing work with someone that I know has tried to advance you and you didn't check in on my feelings. God forbid. And so did you check in on her feelings on- Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I, I'm, I'm a big for, like person about like reassurance when it comes to relationships, right? So like I make sure that you're comfortable, that you're okay. How's everything going? Even just kind of like, how is our communication? Now let me tell you real quick, you know, there's just things that are out of my hand, right? So like what? Comments. You know? Comments. Oh. When I've gotten comments. Comments. And then lines. comments that say things that are like, very exceptional. Like, I want you oh, Edin looking good today. In my thing Things like that. Edin looking good today? Yeah. That, like, would, that, that would, would bother? Are you still dating yeah. this person? No. no I, I tell you what. I think that, wow. like, people that are dating someone in a, a spotlight, especially yeah. podcasters, because you get trolls, really yes. mean trolls. Yes. Then you get people that are, like, super weird podcaster feet. Like, and then, or some people that talk to you like they know you. Like, there's plenty of names. That's what, yes. I'm so glad you added that. There would be men that leave comments like, like we had a history or a past or they were going to take me out or they couldn't wait to see me again. And it would be like a show Sounds wild. or here she go again or last week you was it up. Or calling me big head in the comments, <laughs> which is like, so now you're giving me a pet name and my nigga is looking at this and I don't know you, sir. Yeah. But now I have to really convince him that I don't know you, but you're giving me pet names under the comments. But that's the thing. If you're dating somebody that is... And I think that we assume you're not famous. So why would it? You know what I mean? Not I feel famous. I'm not dating a famous person. What does it matter? Yeah. Podcast family people get weird. Y'all yeah. niggas be getting weird. Be Maybe I just experienced something like though. that. Yeah. yeah. And we're not going to give him the time of day. 
Yeah. But people can really make you feel uncomfortable. And, like, I genuinely do think that um, someone jumping into anybody that even if you're fucking with a nigga and right now they only get 50 listens on their podcast, maybe 20. Yeah. One day that shit could blow. And when it does, what the fuck are you going to do? So um, I, I just did a uh, a podcast, Conversations with Zoe. Hey, it, shout out to Zoe. Yeah. Best interview Lorenzo. I ever did. Yeah. He asked really? Me, yes. I got in on the podcast and he started reading me um, comments from the staff, comments from people that knew me, oh, yes. saying he was giving me my flowers while I'm mm-hmm. alive, made me cry. He gave me, oh, uh, asked a lot of questions about like high school and what I was like. And, you know, how certain things make me feel. And I just thought it was great because most people interview me and they're like, give us a dick sucking tip. I hate that. I do it anyway. I hate that. But I say that to say, um, I was talking about, oh, he told me on the show, I've been doing this show with my girl and I'll let her know. I'm going to interview this porn star. Like, yeah. how are you feeling about this? He said he would check in even with that. Yeah. And I said, wow. Huh, That's well, a good I, idea. I wouldn't I've think that you that. would ask somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's your job. And he's like, yeah, but like. I was with her before the job. Right. That I really fucked with, bro. See, but when when I got into a relationship last year, I made sure to talk about that beforehand. You talked about being about a part about the of fact of decisions. like of the mild spotlight that I have, let's say, you know, there'll be times of recognition, which is cool, right? So, when it does happen or if I post someone and someone says something, they know, "Hey, like that's nobody." You know, you know who are the actual intimate people in my life. Now, going back to you talking about oversharing, right? I've definitely been guilty of that because then the moments of silence are where things get a little bit more awkward. Can What's you, that mean? Can, can you talk about that? Yeah, what does so that mean? So let's say I forgot to mention that I said something on a show or that we met somebody or maybe she saw that there was a flirty oh, vibe somewhere. Then that's where it, when I haven't mentioned it. When did you go to this it, bar? Right. Then that's where it gets like a little like, Ugh, or uneasy because then it's like okay well why didn't you mention that I think the what thing is, too is to know is like why is there uncomfortability do you think I'm gonna fuck the girl in the comments ex- and that's kind of actually kind well, of where well, I went but that's an insecurity yeah. that sometimes even I've realized sometimes there's literally nothing you could do to change a person's insecurities yeah. and how they feel about anything especially those that don't want to go to therapy they don't want to find the underrooted reason as to why they're bringing whatever trauma from their past into this relationship I did want to ask you then, if there is, because this was my my issue, I overshared and I felt like my partner did not share enough. How do you find the meaning? Women do that. Wait, women over, wait. You 100%. Just, you just think women overshare. I'm going to tell you something Alex said to me once, and he was so right, and I wished I could take it back. <laughs> Why? What did you do? It's the new dude that I'm dating, right? I realized, damn, we don't really no. talk about anything but us. And wait, us as in? In each other. Oh, okay. okay. And Alex said to me, does he know about Obe? I was like, yeah. Did he know you cheated on you? I was like, yeah. He knows how bad? I said, yeah. He goes, why? Mm-hmm. He said, let him tell you about his own shit first. Women always fucking... That sounds like a, a little bit of a game, though. Yeah, no. I don't like games. No, I actually don't think it is. I think women fucking overshare. It's mm-hmm. a real thing. Think mm-hmm. about like when you're having your homegirls dumping on you. Or even when I dated women, they're like... Blah, 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 blah. Women fucking overshare. And he was like, you probably telling him all this shit. And now he's just like, damn, she's already fucking traumatized from a lying ass nigga. Like, now they gotta like... That's you like know. most women, though. Right, but... Most of y'all I traumatized definitely by people who overshared. I talked about he and he and I talked about and he was right. He was like, "You probably said you hate that nigga." And I was like, "I did." He was like, "Why?" Mm. Yeah. See, when you get too much into those specifics, that's where I understand. That was and well, that because, the fact that, that it happened that's is feelings different, and though. emotions. Then exactly. Right? Um. Oh wait. What? We just got his tea. What the fuck is the humility tea from last week? <laughs> we got to spin the block. The what? Humility. Oh, Mandy you said I got home. You missed it. I tried to get her to spill last week. She and was I didn't like, even know you was gonna give me the comeback to these. Um, you said there's video evidence. Oh, basic. Well, basically, there is a man, mm. and he is a man. Mm. Oh God! How tall is he? I... <laughs> she is so size queen in know, that which, sense. Which is crazy. I don't know. He he is regular tall. The one man I What's saw. What's regular? Six I feel two? like between six and six three. He's. I feel like between that is regular I'm surprised. tall. He's regular yeah, tall. I'm surprised. I was. He's not extremely her. tall. I think he's between. He must be a man, man. Um. Damn, why you brought this back up? Cause bitch, I was humbled. So I'm I'm hmm? welcome to horrible decisions. Yes. I am now a hoe again. And I'm single, so I'm like, the way I'm talking to niggas, like, bitch, I'm about that life. I ain't got a nigga holding me back. What you want? Okay. So there's a, 
there's a particular person that I would suck the soul out of every hole from his earlobe. Every hole. Every every hole he has. I'm looking at you right now. I see an earlobe, a nose, a nostril, mouth, mouth, the booty hole, the dick hole. Yeah. If whatever hole is in the nipple, I don't sure. think anything comes out of nipples. I mean, that's the guys, yeah. Because they ain't got milk. Yeah. But whatever hole can in his lactate? body. What? I think we can lactate. No, y'all cannot lactate. You, can you cannot all, right? produce milk. You are not. I feel like I'm watching Akon <laughs> stupid ass say, Men, women need us, but we don't need them. We can take our sperm and put it in the incubator. How did he sit up there with four <laughs> niggas? They was like, yep, yep. <laughs> but he made Mr. Lonely, so that's kind of, you know, it goes hand in hand. Oh, lonely. That's a fire track. He's fucking I'm developing so African yeah. community cities. I have cities to call my own. own. And that's why, because you got these dumb ass opinions. Because yeah. uh, you got these dumb ass opinions. Yeah. But no, basically, um, there's a person that now I'm single. I'm kind of like tooted like that. It's whatever. Okay. Do you know them? Are they like... You I just think we know each other well. You just did DM slide. Oh, it's a DM slide. Okay. For show. Cool. Okay. For show. That's good. But recently... Uh-oh. Like, and I'm I'm really trying to be like, nigga, I will eat whatever. I will, ugh, I will like what it. What was the stuff. DM slide? You let him pee on you. Well, no, we've been talking in DMs. So... Okay. Just very, but very friendly because I've had a nigga. But I've had a nigga until I did it. So he was just someone DMing, very cordial, very friendly, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Um, but now I'm single. And so now I feel offended oh, you're, by you're the single. responses. Sorry, you just said it like yeah, five times. I'm, oh, I'm single as fuck. Yeah. Um, She's single. Wait, and he recently called me sis. Ooh. And I'm like... <laughs> no, we did, Damn, no, poor we're Hector. Oh, we're you and Hector that felt that. Was a, I'm sorry. That, yo, was, a, that was a really good reaction. That's like, funny. Yo, yo, yo. You know, thanks, sis. Fam, excuse me? That would kill me. Wait, what'd you say? Excuse Wait, you said excuse me? I didn't say excuse me. Sh- did you send him the video? Stop no. calling me fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, mind you, I also have, I'm called Mans. He's yeah. made Mans what? with a Z. I got a nickname. We're, he's super friends on me. I have to know who this is. Oh, yeah, I want to know so I'll, bad too. I need to know now. Bro, pull the picture pull up. Pull the picture up. Oh, no, not right here. Not right Please. here. Please. When we get off air, Please. I can't even, I, I'll I'll even bet, think I'll about beg. it. Man, just, you can't beg. even think about it. Being called sis for a nigga I would suck his soul out of every hole. Ah! That, ah! There's literally nothing else I can do. Now, is there and a possibility like, y'all could work together? Is that why maybe no? Maybe, oh, maybe. okay. Maybe? That's how Nah, fuck that. That wouldn't stop me. Do you know how many niggas have not been on our podcast because I will fuck them? I, but maybe we ain't, oh, yeah. we ain't gotta ever work together. Yeah. We ain't gotta ever work together. Nigga, we ain't gotta ever work Nigga, you ain't ever. But that's what I'm saying. I know. There was no chance. No, she said, yo, she said every crevice. I'm trying to give you out. Is there a possibility y'all could work together? That's why he's trying to be nice. Like, hey, maybe So then be direct. Yeah, fuck work that. Work with me together as a guest on either of my podcasts? Oh, okay. okay. Sure. It's uh, not even worth it. So then go no. fuck So then tell him. No, what I'm to... saying is that why he did that like, to her? I would literally oh, suck like, his like, all the opportunity for him. Because sometimes oh. when it's like industry relationships, niggas don't know how to move. So we yeah. are creatives. His industry is different. So it's like, yeah. Like the likelihood of the crossing paths is low. No, it's not. Oh, man's so then that might be it. Man's? man's? Yeah. No. Man's and then sis. sis. What Yo. did you say? You said the hard eyes or something? Yeah, what do you do to no, that? No, we, we were just talking about something that he had just accomplished. And Damn. I was like, yo, that's dope. And he was like, she was moist after he that, too. Little thing and then ended it with, you know, sis. I said it to some girl's DMs. You know what? Yo. What? Nigga, what the hell you? What she, 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 I said it to some girl's DMs because she was looking good as hell in her story. Stop fucking laughing. <laughs> right? Wait, wait. What'd she do? So, <laughs> she said, so I said, I was, I was like, yo, I was like, you're looking really good today. Right? I don't like Are doing you the, single? I don't like doing, I am single. Oh. I don't like doing the double tap. Yeah, he's single. I don't like doing the hard eyes. I, I say something or I say something really stupid, right? I'll tell you another thing I said. So I said, you looking really good today. Shorty goes, thanks, player. <laughs> That's a super curve. That's a curve. Sometimes I, I screenshotted that shit and sent it to him, and he just like sent me a voice note of him just laughing his ass off. <laughs> I was like, damn. And I could, and I was like, all I, I did was like, double tap. I got I got You know it. what, though? The reason I had asked about the work shit, there's a, someone in the tri state area that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jesus. The way, the way My we bad. Have to, wait, the way we have to broaden how we talk about right. niggas now is nuts. Because that I don't curved. know, because bitches be like, I know we, him. Well, hold on. When we, yeah. talked, when we talked about oh, the, I know him? No, no, no. When oh. we talked about the 
I me mean, fucking a nigga that was hanging on my wall. The the amount of people that it's were like, wow. that, listen, <laughs> they were going through all of the. What year did yeah. you have posters on your wall? Let me see who you could have had on your wall. Yo, the internet Niggas is I no felt joke. like was Shout ready to, to find my Facebook to see if they could find. Like, I mean, I get it. This discovery. Oh, so the nigga in the tri-state area. <laughs> actually, one of y'all may have worked with him too. He's like kind of in our industry. Okay. Okay. Recently asked me on a date, but I didn't know he was asking me on a date until we were 40 minutes into the call. He was, like, he, was, oh, okay. he was like, hey, you out in LA right now? I was like, he, yeah. He was like, damn, I had a, wanted to know if I could, I don't know if he had a client or something. He wanted to swing through. But it just did not seem far from what he would hit me for. So then it can't turn into what you've been up to. Then we laughing about whatever shit. I think I was telling him about London. So then he's like, yo, let me know when you're back in the city. We got to catch up. And I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. Just come through. We catch up. Catch is- up. Can we catch up? That's very. Yeah. Don't say. That's not a date. He's someone. That's, I'm telling you. I think y'all I don't know. know. Okay. So he said, "You're not getting my nigga till you tell me this nigga app off air." Because now I want to know. Damn. Can I, you do it? Can oh please yeah. Be I don't want to tell you because I want you to tell him. I feel bad. I'm gonna tell oh, you. Do I know him? Is he my friend? No, but we've all worked with him. Even me. Like, but he was like, yeah. I don't even like niggas out here. Do it, please. I will. But oh. he was like, <laughs> I want to know. He was like, yo, like. Oh, I was like, yeah, I mean, I have to rush. <laughs> I feel so bad. I didn't know he's going to know it's him. <laughs> but basically, he was like, yo, let me know when you ever need help with that again. I've definitely said something like I got you. Before. And I was like, oh, of course. Like, next time we've got like a lick or like something, I'll definitely get you hired. And he was like, nah, nah, I got you. Oh, like, see, that's. Let me know anything well, I could do it. And then, like, bitch, we can get some free work, me a some kissy, free labor. Sent me a kissy face later. Oh. And then basically was like talking about catching up and followed up with the time. And the time was 8 p.m. And I was like, ha. Huh, that's bold. This is a date. But I was giving him the energy back. Oh, so that's your fault too. Because I thought it was homie shit. I'm going to help you. Pull up to the date with your laptop. So you said no. you wanted to. If, you, if some girl pulled up <laughs> to a date with a laptop. That would be me. Yo, pull up to the date I'm bringing with your mine laptop too. with the Excel sheets. So you said. I feel so chat. bad, bro. He's such a nice guy. He's not even unattractive. So let's chat. I'm pulling up my laptop. So you said you wanted to meet. Oh. <laughs> I'd be that tight. That face was nuts. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? That's Manuel at an email. Nigga. She's like, baby. <laughs> nigga, pull up to the date with your laptop and then date them with this. Uh, nigga, work I'm, meeting. I'm okay. That nigga will love you because he could write it off on his taxes. There you go. Oh. See? Look, it works out hand in hand. I'm not trying to but write I'm, nothing off this nigga's taxes. I'm trying to lick well, I got honey I'm, off of his booty hole. I got to bro him. That's all I know. Bro him. Bro. Or because player. I've been cis and now... My ego is shot. Oh, I'm sorry. There was a part two. So I tried again. Because <laughs> I'm consistent and persistent. And men, women like that sometimes. Just don't be a fucking creep. Yeah, don't be right? weird. Don't, don't be, be weird about it, right? So I, she looked good again. I was like, damn, right? Hit her thing. I said some, another compliment. She said, she said, appreciate it, thug. <laughs> <laughs> she called you. Thug. A player and a thug. And thug. Now I gotta see this bitch. This is kind of racist. Is she all right. <laughs> no, I hope she is of color. Like, is she? Why did she call you she's a, a thug? She's a light skinned Latina, so I don't know. I'm okay. giving white Latina. Okay. She can't say nigga. She's from, she's from she Bronx. She can't say nigga. Yeah. But to call you a thug is nuts. And player. It was very much bro without saying bro. And she I was like, said, all right. Keep your she said, let me make this yeah. clear, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Might as well. He said, keep your compliments. She might as well do this shit. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And I'm, I'm small, lie. too. I'll be like. <laughs> Hold on. I'm triggered. That's what sis brought to me. <laughs> oh. Yo. That, it hurts. Uh, it hurts. Hey, uh, yo. And then he just know he look good. Do you know who be doing uh, me like that when I try to like. So BDD. Oh, y'all both know BDD. Who he is? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <what the> <laughs> so <laughs> I I've been trying to have a friend relationship with BDD, right? Mm. So he called me the other day, and we were shooting the shit for a second, and I might have said something like, "Anyway, so um, what you up to, bro?" And he goes, "Excuse me." <laughs> I said, "What?" And he goes, "I have a video of you sucking my dick in hey, my phone." Man, you know, stop talking to me like that. I get it. And I was like. Oh. <laughs> Thank God he would never post it because he got something to lose too. But bro, yeah, I'm literally, but, and I, he said, "Who the fuck?" And I feel like he thinks I did that shit to him. It I probably felt like that. I was literally about to ask you then for the whole mail. Um, I, oop, I think he just texted me too. So who sis? Soulmate. Oh, I don't want to be with, but I'm like, 
Can I demote you? I went to the sex club solo. I talked about it on the pod. Girl, no. I'd like for him to be a friend. And I'm like, so here's the thing about Detox oversharing. Detox from him. But here's the thing about oversharing, right? The nigga done shared all these bitches that wanted more with him, and he wouldn't give it to them. So they here love I go doing like, that. So here I go like, make me that bitch. Just fuck me. <laughs> Let's just hang out. I don't want the relationship title, nigga. And he's like, I just don't see how that's possible. Why not? You did it to all these other bitches. You told me about all these other bitches that wanted more with you and you couldn't give them more. Let me be that bitch. I just You just look like, like Natalie Nunn. <laughs> the chin is up. I just want to look at you, suck your dick, and send you on your way. All the emotions of us breaking up Mindy, 10 times. You could not. I could. I, do you think so? I could. I actually think maybe it's too soon now. So how long I gotta wait? Maybe Bitch, a month? it's been two months. It's oh. been two? Two, two months? months of two years of dating? Oh, no, no, no. Almost three. Maybe oh. made three years. Ooh, the nigga no. Nicolai came out. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. I mean, no, 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 no. How long I gotta wait to get the dick again? Maybe like six months, like seven months. The summer? Yeah. No, yeah, I wanna the go summer, to, this is oh, like yeah, a great I agree, six months. Yeah, I wanna summer? go to the beach. Yeah, we're okay. That's gonna be August. I need like June and July. You have to, the problem is, what happens when you let them in in that way? Then you're close to like new. Oh no, I like my new hoes right now. No. Yeah, but then now my you're just. New hoes or old hoes, but I like the new. You're backtracking. You, then you're gonna get dick, and then someone's gonna, and then you're gonna be like, uh, it's just, it's just gonna make your life a little too simple. I was like, the end of my relationship with Old Bay was like that. It was just easy, and I was like, damn, I'm like really like blocking my blessings, like, cause I'm laid up with this nigga. Now, even these though I don't niggas ain't blessings out here. That's what I'm realizing, like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just a couple of us are blessed. Calm down. I'm like, <laughs> fuck these niggas. Let me go back to the nigga that makes me come. It's better than play. I'm like so annoyed. Bro, humble. It hurts. I'm now like, ooh, I'm a exactly. hoe. I got bread. I'm kind of lit. I, I, I. New teeth. What's up? Short hair. If you want to pull it, you can. And this nigga <laughs> called me sis. That it you hurts. got hang time. <laughs> but you need that sometimes, though. I do got hang though. time right now. This you need long. that sometimes. Oh, um, yeah. You know? Wait, okay. when was the last time you got like bros? Oh, wait, no. You're, it was, oh, no. But you did that to BDD. What about to you? Uh, it, so wait, he just said, bitch, you can't friends on me because I got a video of you sucking well, my dick? It's more like don't talk to me like that. That's so you different. can't call a bro? I won't call this nigga. No, 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 but I really did give him very like homie vibe. But you did it with intent? Yes. And oh, he see? told me that That's I don't why. know how to act when I'm talking to other niggas. Ah. Uh, oh. He's very, right. He's sorry, like, you don't bro, know you how to have a relationship with me when you're like, but he's uh, right because we've known each other for so long. Yeah. But I don't know how to, he's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he be fucking with me, bro. Like, something happened the other day. Maybe it was my house or something. And he hit me. It was on my close friends. Mm. Checked on me. And uh, if I start talking about things, like deflecting, maybe like, do you remember the last time my dick was in the back of your throat? I have to go. I can't. Love it. So, like, oh, I think he, he played too much. No, he enjoys that. He I love it. Much. I get if it. You though. were called B D D, Big Dick D. Like, come on. Come on. Anyway. I um, I think we can wrap up. I think we went over. Yeah. Whatever. I'm pretty sure we're over an hour, aren't we? Sorry, I missed the call. That's all I was like. Uh, no, we don't. Oh. Where are we at? Give it. Oh. Oh, 55. Okay. okay. I guess. You have, a, you have a question for us? Look, there we go. I do. You know Let's what? I do. Let's give the whole mail to Adam. Uh, wait, give me a second, Jay. Yeah, because don't, nah, don't. I want to give a good the, question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> I have a question, actually. What do you, while you're thinking of that, uh, oh. what do you, go ahead. Oh, no. Give me that now. I was going to say, what do you do now for a living? Because I know that general? you started working for Funk Flex. Oh, oh, yeah. So, in general, so, so I'm working with Funk Flex, uh, just kind of doing like general content creation. Um, I DJ, so you could catch me uptown. Um, I By throw the way, parties. real quick, yeah. the, the club that you, or the bar that you've been DJing at for years, so I don't know if you know, I worked at their sister bar. Which one? The Duck. Oh, I didn't know that was it. The Where? Stagger Inn? The Stumble Stumble Inn. Oh. Yeah. So crazy. they all have the same That owners. one must be one in Orlando. There's another yeah. one down uh, by Brooklyn Bridge. Mm. So they all have the same owners. Yeah, and I think you might, you might know the one. See, all, look at all that. They all so literally, to every, time you, yeah. every time you used to shout out the Stumble Inn, I'm Stumbling. like, when yeah. black people come yeah. in there, do you like, oh, you must listen to one of the shows I'm on. They, no, they'd be there. They'd no, be in there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Even, even yeah. the duck, it's like a neighborhood yeah. type of like a thing. Bitch, I'm going to tell you right now. Party that bar is yeah. on the Upper East Side, right? Yeah. I went to the bathroom, barely made it in the door, and this girl's like, do you want to do a bop? Yeah. I was like, yeah. wow. So yeah. the, the duck is in Harlem. Um, mm -hmm. 
the, the deck is in Harlem, but I used to bartend there, and it's all the same owners. See, I don't look at that. So when I saw that you were working there, I was like, ooh, that's the bar I'll be there I wanted at to in, I'll be at Locksmith. I'll be at the last stop. I throw a party call in my bag. We're going to be uh, doing it at 0408, April 8th, Chelsea <laughs> Music Hall. We're doing it. So we're like, oh, it's like 0, a 0408. 4, 0, 0, yeah, Nigga, my bad. I said, what club? That's you the in your bag? Yeah. Cool. We'll be in your bag. Exactly. I definitely thought that was a new New York club, 0408. All right. <laughs> that was like, yeah. Flex, and then I work with Rory Mo, doing all that shit for them. Yeah, and we was just on tour too. I'm sure y'all. And that's a lot of yo, shit. I was just in London with them. I know y'all had a good time for sure. I'm mad that yo. I wanted to go. Our show was on a Tuesday, so the box wasn't the box, popping yet. Yo. I wanted to go? go to the box. No, I didn't go, but but everyone I heard that too went much to the box, about it. I wanted to go. To I the think box. the London box is the first one. I heard, it is. I heard that's it's the, the better original. one too. And it's it's kinky as hell. Um, I watched someone pull blood out of their ass, so I don't know how much better it can get. Wait, they said that wow. they watched someone pull paint out of their ass in the one that they what? went to. Paint. And, okay. bo- and, oh, and paint. Uh, billiard balls. What? Yep. You gotta go to the vibe, bro. I, I, maybe I go a lot because it's in the neighborhood, but like... Oh, that was amateur shit what I just told you? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. I watched someone hang oh, no, themselves with pantyhose. Okay. While yeah, my, 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 my ex That's cool. has gone and he's seen some... You've never like, gone to the been, box? Not to see a performance. Girl, I went to the box. Uh, Rick Ross rented it out for an album release party. <laughs> That's when I've gone to the box. Rick Ross. For Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Uh, <laughs> I'm shocked. I've never been there. And to be fair, I was trying to go just with my partner as a duo post-COVID. They talking about $1,000 a table. So then I got to wait for my homegirl. My homegirl wasn't available the night I wanted to go to get it free. And apparently there's an upstairs where niggas be fingering and... They don't. Doing or- they just do drugs. Well, no. She said she's been up there and she's watched people play with themselves. There's like a closed thing. Well, she was in the closed area. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you thought like the whole upstairs. No. Oh, she she let area. me know what she saw. Oof. Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to see that. It's, I, I actually really like the box. The weekdays are like really fun. Um, I have two questions. Go. Okay. I was going to say, what do you Let's go. Come All on, right. home, man. Uh, the embarrassing one is going to be the second one, though. So the first one. Uh, I was recently approached for a two women threesome. I was very honored, by the way, right? Because in my past, I've actually been more so. So them hoes wanted to run a train on you? Which was, you want, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. If you watch this for some reason. But yes, I was, I appreciate that, sort of, right? Um, so that happened. Um, what's, what do I, how do I respond to that properly? You don't yes. want it. No, I do. I mean, yeah, that'd be you great. You do want it? Yeah, hell yeah. What you say, mean? Say yes. Adam. Yeah. Wait, look, so you think What's he... hard about saying yes? Or what did you reply? You don't, you're going to think about it? Or you didn't accept the DM yet? Oh, no, no. This it's, ain't gonna come out for a few weeks. That's fine. It was, oh, thank God. But yeah, so I mean, it's someone I know. No, now. it's someone I know that I fucked before. And then they offered me that. Oh, even easier. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. That yeah. means your dick is quality enough to bring good someone else Good for you. In. I was just Appreciate gonna say. It. Yeah. Yeah, so, but what's a good approach about that? Okay, you know? for yes. one. I mean, of course you're, I say you're yes. You're not approaching. Invite, I mean, them, yes. invite them to Pasty a club yes. night where you got a little more relief. That's what I mean. The setup. Because if you don't want too much pressure, this is my advice. I would say, because obviously, like you could do drinks and shit, but then there might be a little See, too. That's if you thinking. invite them to a club night that you're DJing or something that you're hosting, you can already get them to drinks. So you kind of like, you know, and then they're like, "Ooh, he be doing X, Y, Z." Yeah, my man running that, and then bitches love that. They get real excited to fuck with the nigga that's the plug. So either one, if you're really not feeling the vibe, you're just tired from the event. And two, if you are feeling the vibe, they're already lit. You guys are having fun, dancing, enjoying each other. Then you go fuck. And it's less pressure to like talk before you fuck if you just want it to be sex. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because I've brought all my friends in to fuck niggas before. Um, how do you guys, that, again, mm. the, it's not about saying yes and it's not about doing it. It's of more of like, how do I get that eased into the bedroom? So, so not to just ease like, into the night, um, I would stay away from dinner. Don't let the bitch know too much of you. You could ruin it by talking too much. Ooh, okay. So it literally yeah, would that's be- that's what I was saying. Nothing yeah. to do too much talking. So it would be like y'all maybe meeting at a dive bar at the end of the night. They go for dinner. I'm also big with just the catering aspect of it. So when they finally meet you for drinks, you make sure you get all the drinks. Okay. Um, I think also another way to ease it in, you do the drinks at the club. Y'all go back to whatever spot, whether it be a hotel, your room, or her home, um, and a game night. So the game night eases it in. Like sorry, love sorry to all game. my homegirls. Oh yeah, that game night was on purpose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the game night allows you to make bets for winners and losers and start easy. Uh, what's your? So what, yeah, what's it's your? It's like yeah. it's like. What's your Uno go to where you lose I mean, on purpose? Draw four. Fine, Suck it I'm your pussy. <laughs> so yeah, it's either the it's either the taking off clothing items yeah. that start. That's the easy way. Yeah. Um, 
I've made people give lap dances or you have to kiss or you have to massage for 60 seconds. Just give it's, a turn and put a butt plug in. It's literally an adult truth yeah. or dare, but you could play anything from Uno, rolling the dice. Like there's other games that I'll give you the games that run quickly. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but a game night allows you to have fun. Also have a bottle there for shots. Okay. Um, and just have fun. Make them laugh and don't be corny with the candle setting music mm, setting no. make it still fun we're here to my have a good time my ex used to like kind of come on to the other girls a lot um which made them way more comfortable because i think the other woman especially knowing the other woman is generally concerned about how you're going to feel sometimes not always but i realized he would do that he was very much a leader yeah. so if you don't really know but you gave him the go with that as well i wasn't I, I liked that and so i think that that would be the thing too if she's bringing in a friend that may not know the boundaries you discussing with her to lead. Okay. I would say, even say you do a dare, right? Like I've done one where I'm like, okay, if I win, I want to see my man give her a lap dance. Or if I win, my my win is for you to lap dance my partner. Cool. Like Let's get set so up. so setting it up to where I'm letting it be known that it's okay for you to talk, to touch, to kiss, to be an active with this person that you know is my connection. Yeah. Um. But also, me too. Every so, fucking episode is a threesome tip. Like, literally. Yeah. It, it makes sense. Though. But but like, you no, don't it hear changes, complain about it enough. It changes every time because like, some dynamics are Threesomes are not that easy is why They're I not that. Everyone says that. And They're that's not why, that And easy. I know it's, and that's why, again, it's a, the over drinking, right? That's, that was a fear of mine because of the second question I have. Right, but but that's another thing. A lot of people think, okay, oh, maybe you can't every, get it up. everybody exactly. Well, no, There's it's more like a, no, no, oh, I know. I'll tell you. There's <laughs> a spray that what, you can a buy. spray for what? Bitch for his dick. Seriously, <laughs> to get my shit up? No, a desensitizer. Oh, oh I'm good. I don't like. Oh, you're that. not, you're, you're yeah. not scared. It's, it's hard for me to nut. Like it's not. Yeah, they're yeah, not good for men. Yeah. So um, I have like yeah. I would I would say then what else would make you look like really charming? Wait, what was the second question? Well, was that it? Also, well, if you're scared, if you're scared of the drinking. Between drinks, make sure everyone has a bottle of water. Hell yeah. That, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing is because, I mean, especially with me working in nightlife, like drinking is very common regardless. You know, um, over drinking is obviously possible. I would, That's the last thing I want. I just want comfortability and a good time. I just didn't know how to properly lead up to actually having threesome. The reason why the over drinking was a fear of mine uh, so I hooked up with someone recently and um, I had a lot of tequila. Mm -hmm. Right? Tequila has become my thing. Love yep. tequila. I've been doing tequila soda. Really fun. Most Mexican. The thing that I do. Most Mexican. Tequila. <laughs> so, right? It's a coincidence. So, <laughs> what happened to me was, um, that was the time when I was really starting to do it, and I didn't know that there was a late hit for me, you know? So, normally when I will drink whiskey, which was my shit at one point, you know, I'll drink whiskey, and I'll have, like, two, like, meat, and I'll be feeling it. With tequila, right, it'll be, like, another 30, 40 minutes before that shit hit me like a motherfucker, and then... We went back to her place. We had a great time. We were bonding and everything like that. We were bonding. Right? Yeah. Like just said. We were doing shit. We were like, you know, we were getting into it and whatever. And then eventually she was like, I want to give you head. I was like, All right. I was like, bet, right? I fell asleep while she was giving me head. So I was in the ass. Yo, this. The little Cause yo, you, you, know, his legs. you know, it was very that embarrassing. Was buddy. So Man. I thought that you were going to say you I couldn't get up. Because I just shared that I drank all night with. The one guy that I've been wanting to get my pussy to since I was 13 years old, Oy. and my pussy was dry, Oof. and I was so mad. Oof. I was so upset. I was like, "It's normally not like this. I promise." <laughs> <laughs> but She's a little off tonight. Falling asleep while She's a bitch a... is sucking your dick, bro. So she had I put on. Give you on you she had put on some music and whatever, bro. And it was a concert. She put a concert <gasps> on, right? She put an Ariana Grande concert. On. I was like, "Whatever." That's why you fell asleep. Kidding me? Yo. That's, was she 12? No. God, what? Was she no, white? 19. No, she was Let's Puerto Rican. Legal. Sorry. No. So, Ariana Grande? Yeah, she was the a Puerto Rican. Yeah, she was an Ariana Grande. I don't know. I can she put that on to suck a dick? <laughs> she just put on, put on something to put on something. We didn't even know it was you a You actually like need to have her listen to the show at this point. I'm sure. She, she will. She put on Ariana Grande sick. to give you fellatio. Point is. I'm and I only so use fellatio because... Ariana Grande. Was I don't even. Fine. I feel like there's nothing else to tell. It may not have been the liquor, but go ahead. Oh no, for me it was. I think it was the liquor, <laughs> why, was which is why Grande. it was embarrassing. God Bruh, in the I, I, God is a woman. I would getting ahead to God in the woman. God is a woman. Sick. What song That's was it? Not, thank oh, you. it was Next, fucking. Say thank you, Dad. What was the bicycle shit? Now you ask. I thought about Bob's cartel. No, no, with Nicki Minaj, side to side. 
That's the song I heard. I don't know how that. That's goes. also a sex song. That's her. Wait, that's our, how does it go? I don't. That's know. Uh, been there all night, and but I'm got my little side, 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 side which is like it's a, it's a song about her getting fucked so, so good so that she she gotta walk side to side, like she can't even walk from it. So crazy. Point is right. I remember hearing side to side, and then I fell asleep, and I woke up to her tapping me, upset, and then I saw the concert was ending. There was credits already. Yeah. Like I knocked out. I knocked the fuck out. Oh, and she was not happy about. You're that. telling me. So you had the dr drunk wake ups hard. You yeah. ever been woken up fucked like, huh? up? I've been woken up on a plane like that. And I'm like, <gasps> and you're like, oh shit. And they're like, move your seat up. I'm like, oh shit, bitch. Sorry. But the fact, <laughs> but, but the fact <laughs> that somebody was sucking your Wait, dick. Wait, but when you woke yeah. up, what, did you realize? Was she no. down there? Oh, no, she was She was like was sitting your bedside. Was soft dick on the side? She was soft dick sitting in bedside. And she was just like, yeah. <laughs> you fell asleep and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't know what to I didn't know where to start. I was still I drunk. Think, one, you weren't that good, babe. And <sighs> two It's all right. Sorry. No, I'm not saying you weren't that she good. Wasn't. I've had a dude really eat my pussy right and I just was like too fucked up. But that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't think it was bad. Okay, so now Maybe it wasn't. We're cool now. In fact, I even asked her, I was like, Can I mention this? Because Come I, on, I, big I wanted bro, to be I wanted to be double sis. short, right? Double Ooh, short. Right? Maybe she should use double hands and right. stay up. Sure. Now, what I want to ask is, how do you make it up to them? You might need to take a gas station pill. Pay her rent. Make noise. Pay her rent and gas station <laughs> pill are two different sides of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah. I could do maybe both, but you gotta that's make still her actually crazy. feel like she's rich? good at what she does. What, say that one more time? You have to make her feel like she's good at what she's doing. So that means we have to do it again. And you oh, you don't want to. I would. Are you embarrassed? I am. I am. But you should scream. I just gave a tip for men scream. to scream. I yeah, you're so gonna have to moan loud and make her feel like she's rocking your. You, you literally world. gonna have to come and be like, and now I'm coming side to side. <laughs> don't sing Ariana Grande. Walk. Yeah, we can't, I can't you might like it. Thank no. you more. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't, okay, I, let's I, wrap this shit. That's up. fine. Gas station pill and pay her rent. No, no, no seriously, gas station pill. Be super Jesus, hard. And then she I hate think it. She's great. I hate it. Not the also, gas talk pill. to her. But what if I knock out again? You're not gonna knock out again. Well, You're then not you get suck. wasted. Like I've never, I've never just, taken, I've never taken. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. If you knock out again, do one of the decent ones, like ma'am. Like if you're listening to this podcast, go on every podcast and talk about how you had this guy who's popular in the pod space. That just kept falling asleep. Let's get a sound bite from her just for fun. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> so basically, we're hopping. Is <laughs> you made me? You wait. Were you? Was it another Latina? Yeah. What is your fetish, buddy? I just like Latinas. <laughs> She's sticking know? close to home. Yeah. Hey. Oh my god. Well, uh, <laughs> in again, Central just America, so you guys know, Ed is, <laughs> is booked and busy. So those of you who have been like, "Yo, I miss Eden's voice." Listen, when um, someone fires you, we'll take you back. That's fair. There we go. We yeah. will. Which, by the way, this is why I want to do this. I wanted to. I feel like in the pod space, it's very common for people to either just go in silence and disappear, or oh, sure, it's the other yeah. side of the spectrum where everybody fucking hates each other and they just start sitting on each other. Uh -huh. And I was like, yo, like I know I'm not gonna be working with y'all as close anymore, but you know, there's gonna be in the there's gonna be a future with us. So for sure, I just want to make sure, like you know, I said also, I appreciate y'all. I think that any creative space, you gotta be like, um, like Jordan, <clears throat> who was at the studio, Talk got an Jordan, animation yeah. job, and. We still bring her in company dinners and shit. Yeah. Like it's just like creative shit just evolves so much. Like I never really feel like anything is. The There's end. different lanes and paths. It doesn't yeah. mean things have to. End. And you and she, you gotta try that for a yeah. moment. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to pivot, take something new, and like I, I think that everybody needs that. Yeah. I never thought I'd be doing this scripted I fucking shit. Never audio. thought I'd be I would doing never where thought I'm at right now. It's crazy. I think that to see as well. I think it's inspirational for where we've come from in the last five years since bringing you on board and appreciate it. all of us and you seeing us grow individually as a pod, getting the deals, getting our spaces and yes, studios and TV and all the things and seeing you elevate. I think it's been, it's been wonderful it's great, to, yo. to witness how everyone how around us. Money? I mean, yeah, no. Literally, Look at us all getting more. thinner and shit too when the money comes. That's right. You know, you know feel me? Well, yeah. if you guys want more of us, because we're tired of him, <laughs> uh, join us on patreon.com backslash horrible decisions. We have a town hall every single month where we get to talk to our patrons and do a live episode on there. That's we have our crazy. crazy ass kinky discord. And of course, hundreds of hours of bonus content. Yo, now, that discord is just, that, that discord is probably just enough because I'm on that discord. Do you and not see how nuts this is? It's nuts, yo, it's very. Someone's going to be on there like, I'll suck your dick. Let's see if you stay It's up. very well organized, yo. No, it's yeah. a great discord. Yeah, like, y'all got that shit it's going. It's very organized. Well, we had admins really they do, do a great their job. due diligence. Admins, yeah. um, we, we 
no longer of adamant, so we'll see how it keeps up. Okay. Uh, because it got a little like uh, um, no, no, it was just getting really like complicated. Rules. Okay. Like rules, we don't like rules. Yeah. Um, we like consent, no rules. Um, however, also guys, Atlanta, that's a Georgia, good uh, quote. What? Like, I'll give you can like I want consent, consent, consent no but rules. the idea of rules it it takes away the fun out of things. Sometimes. I get that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We live in fucking America. There's a lot of rules, and they're trying to like, take damn, away. I couldn't have said my dick. Hold they're, on, I thought this was a dick pic rule. They're trying to rights and rules as well. Um, but guys, Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yes, that's right. April twenty second. We are at the Black Effect Podcast Festival. So if you don't want to see us with, <laughs> hello, of course you do. You have eighty five South. You got reasonably shady. Big facts. And I feel like there's one more I'm missing. Uh, Michelle Williams. That's right. Hey. Michelle Williams podcast. Also, you can see Jess Hilarious and Charlamagne the God live in Black Effect. So go to <laughs> blackeffect.com backslash pod festival. Um, that will also be in the description of this bio. Get your tickets. There is a student discount. So if you are part of the CAU $25 or you're crazy. traveling. I'm mad about it, actually. Show your student ID so and get that motherfucking discount. $25 is nuts for those It's a steal. Days. Yeah, no, I love it. It's a steal. Yeah. But it's a way for you to come out for the day and enjoy really good live shows and connect with us. There's going to be other vendors there as well. So make yeah, sure you want to steal tickets. a ticket, go be a student. <laughs> so again, come and join us. That is Saturday. It's a weekend. So enjoy the time in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia on April 22nd. We will see you there. If you want to get tickets, just go to the black effect. Dot, not the black effect. Sorry blackeffect.com backslash podcast festival. There we go. Podcast festival. That's right. And Edin, let everyone know where they can follow you and slide in your DMs. Uh, <laughs> everything. Thank you, Edin. Uh, check out In My Bag on April. I don't know when this is going to come out, but fuck it. Check out In My Bag. Check out uh, fucking Locksmith. Check out New Rory Mall every Tuesdays and Fridays. Sorry. I know that's right. I know. Yay. And y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to yet another episode of Horrible. This is Yons. Bye. See y'all next week. Peace.